Welcome to Tessa's News here at Maximum Blackness. I'm your host, Tessa. Today I'm here with my co-host, Danny Herb, and our guest, Leah Ward. Today on Tessa's News, we have a father that is afraid of his daughter. And that is a very unusual story. Let's listen to what's going on. She's been, she's been out almost two months. Sitting on a porch that isn't even his own. I, I won't even go to my house. Man. Scared to go home after Charles Rucker's daughter got released from the Macomb County Jail on personal bond after allegedly shooting him twice. Just a bullet went through here and it came out my back. Back in February, the night before the shooting at Charles' apartment in downtown Mount Clemens, his 20-year-old daughter, Cheyenne Randolph, threatened him with a gun. He says he de-escalated that night, but the next, her words became reality. So she slapped me in my face. I didn't even re have my glasses and ball them up and threw them on the floor. I didn't react. Charles says he tried to walk away. She allegedly followed. She was pulling the gun out of her purse. So I walked up to her and I grabbed her hand in the purse and she was trying to aim the gun at my face. You know, but I pulled it down and she shot me in the chest the first time. And then she started shooting the gun as she fell back, trying to hit me in my face. And the last shot hit me in my groin. So she shoots you, then she calls police for you. <laughs> yeah. She'd soon be charged and given a $2 million cash bond. He felt comfortable with that. The case got bound over to the 16th Circuit Court. It changed the judge giving out a $50,000 personal mm -hmm. bond. This is what it come to? So anybody can go do anything they want to do. Part of Randolph's bond condition, she was sent to Covenant House, a shelter. But he says she's been posting on social media, bragging about the shooting, while he sits disfigured, barely able to walk, and scared. What would you say to her? She's watching tonight. I don't have nothing to say to her. Bragging. Now. Oh, Henrietta, her ass is. What? Oh, now look, it is very unusual for a father to be afraid of their daughter. And we wasn't though. We know. We don't know what the real story is. We don't know what was going on for this to happen. Um, the scenario I of it. Straight thug. I don't know. Who does look like a straight thug? And I'm wondering how old the mother is of hers, if she even had a good, uh, you know, a decent upbringing to, I wonder if she got mental issues. I, you know, it's very hard for you to want to shoot at your parents. No matter how bad things might get, we might want to hit them, but to shoot at your parents, that's kind of, Bitch, you ain't in no game. Maybe you will. I don't know you. Mm. We don't. She might be doing well, a lot of shit. In her face. Like she did. She, she, she That's why I said it was her her leg. So she might be gang affiliated. And the gang got that life. I feel like you people know. that's in gangs have mental issues. Because what possesses you to live that lifestyle and literally be answering to some niggas in a gang? Like they own. There's a number of factors that turn children because it's not just boys, it's girls. It's majority a lot, a lot of boys, but it's boys and girls. And it's a majority factors of parenting, factors of they upbringing, upbringing. If you live in a poor neighborhood, you are bound. You, like majority of the neighborhood is bound to either do drugs at a young age, have sex at a young age. They gonna turn to the streets at a young age. There's no fathers in the home. I mean, hell, you go to the hood, a hood, mothers and fathers are on drugs these days. And they sending their kids to school and then their kids can't come home and say, hey, I need you mama, but these strangers can tell me something. Who can, you know, you know, strangers are the influence that we we don't want our kids to become if we ain't raised them to be that way. So but, don't know who raised this chick, but it don't know who raised them. Um, I think it's sad, honestly, and I hope she gets some help since they don't pretty much seems like they just want to give her a slap on the wrist or whatever. I hope she gets some help throughout this. To journey. think a two thousand dollar, I mean two million dollar bond. Hmm. To, to fifty thousand, he said. 
Yeah. That, that's a lot of money. And you just gave her leeway to pretty much feel like it's okay. And I would just assist them as full of shit as is. Like, they definitely don't punish properly at all. You get punished the worst for the small crime. And you get punished the least mm-hmm. for the big crime. So like, what the fuck is going so on? Cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So cool. <laughs> you know what you got to say? Like... That is a bizarre situation. Like I even like Tessa said, even in the worst situation, I couldn't see myself shooting at my father, shooting at him, trying to you know do bodily harm to him. Like no, I'd rather walk away. You know, like you know, this is myself than to have mm-hmm. that on my soul. Mm-hmm. You gotta have a black heart. I call them black hearts. Those are hearts that have never, ever, they can do anything. They will kill their own child. Daddy, I ain't trying to say her daddy a punk, but she must ain't put no fear on her when he was a child, when she was a child. Yeah, I know that's not the best thing to do, but I just know one thing for sure and two things about it. If I was to ever shoot at that man that helped my mama birth me, create me, whatever the fuck you want to call it, I better kill him because he ain't going to let yep. that go. He is yep. not going to let that she shit go. He's always saying that. He is not gonna if let you kill me. Mm-hmm. You might as well. If you better kill me. Right. She ain't scared of her daddy. She ain't scared of her daddy. She don't. She. Mm-hmm. But that's why I question how old he is and how old that mama is. Because say for instance, the mother is way younger than him. He pretty. Oh, he looked pretty up in age. I ain't gonna say old. He looked pretty up in age. To have a child that's twenty years old and. He looked that old, like, he looked that old. That's, you know, he looked that old. I'm not saying he is, but he do look it. And the mama gotta be pretty young. And you know, that's where this fucked up circle come at. When people question, should kids, should, should people be dating, you know, with an age, a big gap of age between them? When they have children, you know, it makes a difference in that child. Especially when them fathers ain't equipped at a at an older age dating a younger woman to have the income that they need to, to make sure both of them are supported the mentality to know that hey if this chick fuck up and act like crazy or anything she's young These, you yeah, know if you were young everything about that pop that hey hey they just want to pop that <laughs> I wonder if the mama crackhead. You know, we just don't. Some kids I mean, just. We don't know. Her mama could be around. Her mama could be anywhere. Her mama could be enabling her father. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. It's the reason why she enabled her daddy and not her mama. Say that again, Leah. I said he could be a single father. You know, it's all types of scenarios mm-hmm. that could come to mind as to why this came to be. You know what I'm saying? Like. He could have been a single father. She got out of control. She'd been out of control for a while. She and then this has been building. And this is what it's come to mm-hmm. now. I want to shoot you. And you she know? has so no like respect that. for him. No. No. Negative zero. You bragging on yep. her. She must not have no other siblings either. Because I think we would have went tags. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this would have been a tag team. Outside. How about that, mm-hmm. sis? Because you can't be at the parents and thinking that that shit cool. Like, what? Not at all. Cool. I think people should be very aware, though, of she didn't just turn and do something this crazy just out on the upper one day. She looked like she been had some shit going on with her, and they put a part of her, could have probably been helped her or said, hey, I'm not going to. And as Anna Europe said, enabled her, you know, to be who she is. And she, she needs some help. At the end of the day, you, if people are like, if you have loved ones around you who are able to be helped, they just need to be loved, cared for, held, and hey, let me get you, let me go to you with this counseling session. You don't want to go, but I go with you just so you can start. Do what you got to do to help the people who surround you like this. Because if you don't, it do get this bad. And then you can't just say, hey, it's that person's fault because their brain cells ain't working right, baby. They not. And people just need a hand. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's just I want y'all to just, you know, peace. Peace come with help. Y'all need, everybody needs to take a good look at themselves and ask themselves what they is they doing right and what they can fix about themselves, what they want to fix about themselves. And because they be your kids, and you be better so you can do better for them. And hopefully, the show don't be.
better. I know we can't control them when they get grown and what they do is what they do, but I mean, I don't, I just try to make your relationship better with your child. Just try to do everything that you can. So if they do turn out like that, you know, you did everything in your power. Everything. You would like that. Like, everything. That's what I was about to say, because that's sad and it's tragic. And our black families, we all, it's just getting broken up in more ways than one. It is. Good. It is. We gotta fix it. And fixing it is protecting and putting your time into your loved ones. Don't let them uproot your peace. But please, give them a hand. Say what? I said fix it immediately. That immediately. Now, if you're on drugs, you know, you only can help them when they're ready. Some people you only can help when they're ready. To be told, you know, don't don't go try to help people and you go do all, you know, go broke for them and all that. Don't be doing all that. That ain't that ain't worth it. Let life whoop they ass, cause I believe in life whooping ass. Life will whoop your ass when you think you over there getting away with something and you can get the worst. Of, okay, go ahead. Life gonna come back and whoop ass. Hey, we all get our ass whooped. We all get sat down somewhere. We all get tamed. The energy of the world. Hmm. And life gonna whoop that ass. Today, tomorrow, before you die, you might die with a smile on your face. That's because you suffered before you died. Like. Are you probably finna have peace like you did. Peace, yeah. Like, I'm done. Don't whoop that ass. Just remember that. Was that. Topic. that was a very good news topic. We're gonna keep them coming hot at Winchester. Well, thank you. We're going to come. We're going to come. We're going to come back every week and give you some news from the Tessa on the beat. Now, that's news, y'all. Make sure you click, <laughs> like, share. Stay Max to the Black. Cause we Stay got Max, Max to the Black. Max, y'all Max, in the Max. Black. Max in your news. We finna Max your radio. We finna Max a whole lot of shit. And remember, the regular podcast is every Monday. And we are doing our casual and cool conversations and we try to drop them during the week sometimes just look out stay max to the black right guys yes right. Got you. come on youtube facebook let's go i need to get some love Run instagram it up. Okay. Okay. Fact. Yeah.